Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel if you're returning. If you're new here, my name is Tori and today I have like a mega haul for me anyways. Um, this is like two work, uh, two, two months, excuse me, two months worth of <laughs> purchases. Um, and I like to be as like financially transparent as possible because I understand that the pressure to feel like you have to buy stuff too is common. It has definitely affected me. It It's just one of the things that we as humans, when we get in community with one another, um, we get inspired, right? It's not always negative. Like we do get inspired. Sometimes it is negative. We do feel pressure. So this is my very wordy disclaimer to say that I'm going to try to be as open about what the purchases were, when they were made, and how much they were. So, <laughs> I'm just so excited, you guys. Okay, um, I'm a little behind the curve with like the Hobonichi haul because I wanted to wait for all of this stuff to come in so I could just do it all in one sitting. Um, so yeah, my Hobonichi haul is like, it sh I mean, it's been here for a minute, probably since last month, but like I said, I wanted to wait. Um, so the very first thing that I'm going to talk about are these pins. And these are Zebra Sarasa Dries in the 0.7, um, mil is it mil millimeter tip. I love these. They dry super fast on Hobonichi paper. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. I paid five dollars for them at my local dollar store today. <laughs> so I just figured why not put that in the put that in the stash. But y'all, okay. Print Pression is having a sale right now. I don't know how how much longer it will be on. I don't even know if it's still gonna be going on when this video comes out. Um, because I'm probably gonna put this video out next week, but I got these two beautiful, oh, that's some thread, beautiful, um, planners for 40 bucks, 20 bucks each. And I think they normally run at 40 each. So they were super slashed down. One is, I think, um, one is patina and one is not, and I'm so I don't know which one I'm gonna like switch into first because I do love my mo term still but like I just want to play so the first one is just a simple black leather that feels super buttery um so I'm actually gonna zoom out a little bit so give me just a second okay so this one is super buttery it's really cute and the way print pressions are is you have two buttons instead of two um, button holders. And then here it is. I know some people have like reservations about gold rings and I've heard these reservations. So that is the only thing that I'm kind of nervous about, but I really don't think I will have an issue because I'm not like, I don't know. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's chewing on a bone right behind me. But I love this slot set up here. Um, I have been contemplating using my planner as my wallet as well. So this gives me the chance to play around with that idea a little bit. So yeah, I'm very excited. And I mean, it's good for winter. I feel like it's a very, you need your classic casuals, you know, like your, your basics in your closet. You need your basics in your planners, right? Like uh, you need a black and a brown. A brown? A brown. Excuse me. I'm so excited. Okay, so that one's gorgeous. And then I also got this one that I had had my eye on for a minute. But then somebody commented on one of my YouTube videos and let me know that their sale was going on and that they really liked the quality of what print pression creates. So I finally pulled the trigger. Look at this beautiful thing. I'm so sorry. If... I love the way this looks. It's so beautiful. We've got a secretarial pocket in the back over here. Oh, 
I, I am obsessed with the color. It's, it's giving winter for me, but also I could see it being a summer thing too. Um, I just adore the way it looks. I, I can't get enough. I don't, I, I, I just can't stop staring at it. And it's so pretty and it's so smooth. I'm gonna have to start naming them because they all feel like they're very, they're giving different energy. I feel like this one's name is Buttercup or something. But oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So that are, or that is my print pression like haul, I guess you could say. And they do send along some samplers of some paper and stickers. So these are really pretty um, freebies from Scribble Prints Co. But then this was their, um, paper sampler that they provide. So they let you know, like, here's the kind of papers that you can get, I guess, in their shop when they make their inserts. I'm not sure. But so I got some of that and then this freebie from them as well. And then, um, I did make a small Coffee Monsters co-order for Halloween. I just grabbed some seasonal stuff because I was in the mood. So I grabbed the Halloween doodles right here. And I mean, I love them all. I, I, I like the ghost popping out of the laptop and the books. And because I like the books, I got the Halloween reading emojis as well as movie emojis because we do watch like a lot of I, I don't know if it's a lot, but we watch a fair amount of movies and even though they're not scary because I am unfortunately the only one who likes scary movies in my household, I still wanted to have a different kind of movie sticker to put in my plans. And then I got some zombie emojis because it's a whole vibe, like so many different things we could use these for, especially that one with the coffee cup. And then if I'm having like an angry zombie day or like I'm really exhausted one day, like that's how I feel like I look half the time anyways. So it's just, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> um, and then I did in her vinyl restock, grab another one of the protect your piece. I grabbed the world is lucky to have you. And then two of the affirmation vinyls of I am growing and I am smart. So I grabbed those and then this looks like it's her September freebie. So, and then her bean card, which is appropriate as well. <laughs> um, so I also grabbed, uh, a, an order. Wow. I just lost my words. I grabbed an order from the Prairie Planner. Um, and this is actually my first order with them. So I have not really looked at it, but it looks like it's similar to the bean card program. Collect all the black hearts and you can send it to them and they'll use a coupon code on your next order. But I grabbed some of her characters, uh, just working characters along with some emojis or emojis or whatever you wanna call them. And then I also picked up this kit because it's called library and I work in a library and I thought the colors were really calming. I just really liked the way it looked. And there's way more here than I will need for a Hobonichi week, but you know, that's two pages I can play with in multiple spots in my planner. So I like that. And then I grabbed some of the fall icons that she has, Halloween icons, um, book genre icons, and then her second page of book genre icons as well, and some video game controllers of the Nintendo Switch. Um, I really like these because they look really much like a switch and I just I like the variety of colors I feel like what she gives for the sheet size is really affordable um I think this was a I don't think any of the these orders now that I'm like I definitely said I was going to tell you how much the orders were so these um I'm pretty sure I yeah I ordered these both in September so this this order from the Prairie Planner and the order from the Coffee Monsters Co. This was definitely not even uh, $20, I don't, maybe, maybe it was. This one was definitely, I think, 40 at most. Um, 
So, yeah. And then, uh, and I want to say, like, this was all purchased across four different paychecks as well. So, I'm not breaking the bank by, you know, doing these hauls. But, so, this is my first order from Mandy Lynn Plans, another shop that was pointed out to me from one of my very gracious YouTube, um, subscribers and commenters and you know who you are and I thank you so much for your tip because um one whoa on the freebies like all of these are freebies that I was given and I think it may be because it was my first time um I don't yeah these were not on my order at all um what I did end up ordering was some of her line florals that are matte um but transparent so there's that and then I got some of these for 2024 this planner belongs to I really like the sunflowers um and the sunflowers are my astrological sign flower so and I also got these um Lindy doodles is what it says and it's just a girl working at her laptop but these are like the piece de resistance um because these are gonna go in my Hobonichi for 2024 um to cover up the previous year because I don't like to look back at the previous year like that's not something I'm ever doing in my year at a glance spread so I wanted to find a way to cover them up and I did cover them up in uh, my 2023 Hobonichi and I show what a disaster that is in my six month flip I don't want to show it again it's so ugly <laughs> but like this I, I think that was also the video that the person commented on um, telling me about these stickers. So these go in those sections of the 2023 year for the year at a glance double spread that the Hobonichi has. So I'm going to put these and kind of use this as like a theme going forward in the Hobonichi. Um, but this is also kind of giving you a hint as to what my Hobonichi order entails. Um, but the Mandy Lynn Plans order, I think was anywhere from, I, I don't think it was more than 30. But yeah, I, I, yeah. So ballpark, I would say 30 at most. But Hobonichi, I don't, I'm not a box person. And this, even if I was, this wouldn't have been a year that I was going to be able to keep this box because like many people, I've seen a lot of Hobonichi unboxings already this year, and FedEx did us dirty on, like, just slapping that huge sticker down, but it's fine. And I went back and forth for, like, a month after, um, not a month, a couple weeks. It felt like a month because I was in such agony, agony. Um, but I went back and forth on where to purchase it. Did I want to purchase it from Hobonichi's site? Did I want to purchase it from a US based site and it just felt like one I really wanted the pins <laughs> um and two I I knew I mean you're basically paying the same amount either way from my understanding in that if you buy from a US based store the cost of shipping is added on to the base price and then if you buy from Hobonichi you're paying for the cost of shipping. Either way, you're paying for the cost of shipping. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do straight from the Hobonichi site. And then I got like, I went on there and I was like, let's just see what they have. And then I fell down a Hobonichi hole of like all the things that they have in their store that is not a Hobonichi Techo or like, they have a lot of cool stuff. So I got a couple things. All right. So this is the 2024. I've already unboxed everything because I know some people don't like the crinkly and the crackly. So I just went ahead and unbox it. So I have seen this, but I don't touch it because I really want to stay motivated to use the planners I have. And I don't want to try to hop into this system before it's time. I do know that some of the pages, excuse you. <laughs> I do know that some of the pages um, offered started November um, and I may switch over in November like I probably will knowing myself I'm already like talking myself into it 
but I just, I don't want to give up or I don't want to like lose steam in what I currently use because um, August through October, if based on like my past two years of planners is any indication, like I didn't even notice that until I ended up um, looking back at my 2021 and 2020 I think I did videos on 2020, 2021, and 2022. I don't know. I don't, if that's not important. Basically, in the videos that I looked back on my other planners that I'd used previously, I always drop off on planner usage from like August to October. And this would be a great reason why to drop off, but I refuse. Hobonichi will not get me. <laughs> um, I mean, they got me, but like not in that way. Um, so. Here's, here's my bag for all of the money I have left in, you know, the world, I guess. I just thought it was funny that, like, these bags are so tiny. What do you use them for? Um, and the best, the best idea so far that I've thought of for this bag, uh, while it has been stored away in this box, I've been like, what am I going to use that for? Is my dogs are not very well leash trained. And I'm thinking I could put a bunch of treats in here. And like hang it on my pant hook somehow and like have really quick access to treats to help them stay with me while I'm doing the leash training. I don't know what else to do with this. <laughs> um, but yeah, so and I know a lot of people don't know what to do with these. So if you have any ideas, please feel free to share them because um, this is so tiny. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so one of the things that I did notice about Hobonichi was they have like a full lineup and that's already scratched. I wonder if I did that. Do you see that? Can you tell? There's a ridge there. We're gonna say I did that because I don't want to think about if I didn't do that. <laughs> but this is just an A6 notebook and it's got one of the little Dalmatians on the back and on every page and I was thinking I could use this as like a commonplace book or something like that it doesn't have a grid but so one of the fun facts about me is that 101 Dalmatians was a movie that I played on repeat as a little child I made my family watch it over and over and over and over again it's like part of the family lore like oh yeah Tori would always make us play 101 Dalmatians like that is core memory for me so when they had when I saw that they had like a full lineup it was really hard for me to like not buy everything but I didn't buy everything I kept within my limits but this is one of the things that I did purchase because I I couldn't not and I already used an A6 for my reading journal so this may be a reading journal I don't know but I will use it one day <laughs> when I get through all of my notebooks but I just adore 101 Dalmatians and I couldn't not. So therefore, that meant I also wanted to get a pencil board. And so I got the pencil board and the cute designs where they're running. Come on, how, how do you not love some 101 Dalmatians? Even if you're like anti-Disney, Disney's a corporate machine of capitalism, but it's 101 Dalmatians, come on. So, um, and then I also got Gurumpa's, um, kindergarten stickers because while, from my understanding, Gurumpa is, like, a beloved Japanese children's book character, um, and I wish we had it translated into English so I could read it, but I don't think it is, but I found the illustrations to be really charming, and, you know, as a children's librarian I read a lot of picture books that you wouldn't expect me to be reading so I have an appreciation for some children's book illustrations and I found these really really adorable so it was between this and the washi tape and I really wanted the washi tape but I decided to go with the stickers because I think they were cheaper and I was running up on what I was comfortable paying for so um yeah I got some stickers of Gurum Pa's kindergarten so um, and then these are the Hobonichi pens I got. I'm guessing this is the Uni Jet Stream that um, apparently a lot of people have strong opinions on. I don't. 
a pin is a pin sometimes. I don't know. But here is the lineup for 2024. <laughs> so this is the 2024 Hobonichi Han. Um, it is a full year. It's got like a, you know, if you've seen a million and one Hobonichi, Hobonichi hauls so far, then you know that this is like a harder cover. It, it feels like way harder than the cardstock of a cousin. And it came with this really cool um, Hobonichi Han pencil board. I'm assuming you say Han, so if I'm mispronouncing it, I apologize, but um, I don't want to keep going back and forth on how to pronounce it. I'm just going to choose a camp and stick with it, but the Han has like this really cool pattern on the front pages, but it is exactly like a cousin, so you have your daily pages, and then you have your weeklies that start, where do they start? Where do the weekly start? I think these just start in January because it's like January starts on a Monday this next year. So it's like a perfect start and you're not getting any December in there. Um, but yeah, so it gives you January. It does give you a December monthly. Okay. Um, and then obviously this part is your yearly log or whatever. But this is what I'm talking about. Let me just, let me just show you. So, this is what I'm talking about with the note stickers. So this is going to sit over top of 2023. So I can use it as like any additional notes that I wanna add here. And then um, for the weeks, I also got a Weeks this year. I finally decided to try it. Um, the Weeks will be my mental health planner. So I went back and this was another thing of like why I took so long to make a Hobonichi purchase was because I went back and forth on whether I was going to get a Weeks because so what I'm currently using for my mental health planner is a sprouted planner that I got for $20 in the middle of the year. Um, this is what that looks like. It's wire O binding. This is the weekly planner. So um, I really love the tabs and the way they're rainbow. I think that is gorgeous. Um, but so if you're looking at this planner, this is the weekly layout. And it's basically like a an expanded form of the weeks. And what I do is, so I put um, weekly targets over here a habit tracker, and then I allow myself a space for reflection down here. On this side, what I do is I put priorities over here of relationships, um, household tasks that are out of the norm, as well as like at the beginning of this planner, it asks you to fill out like some yearly goals. And so I just write down the yearly goals that correspond with the time of year in this very top skinny box. And then over here above this column, I just put in like daily wins and growth. And I try to find three things I did each day that were like a daily win for me that, you know, I can look back and say, hey, that was that was a growth moment for you or um, something like that. So, and then over here, all I do is I just give a little short summary of the day and what my mental health was like that day and why. And then under the date, I usually put a sticker for my mood. So let me see if I can do this. So um, I usually like put a sticker for my mood. Sorry, this is really personal. This is like my most personal planner ever. So I usually put a sticker for my mood of the day. And that kind of tells me just at a glance what was what I was feeling that day. Um, and then this planner also comes with, let's see, a ton of notes pages. So like this many notes pages in the back, they're lined. And I have used them during my readings for my like mental health uh, and wellness like goal. I've used this many notes pages and they're pretty large pages, right? Like they're lined. I only have two, 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. I only have 20 full pages left to be able to write in. So all of this in consideration. Um, one, the Sprouted Planner paper is fountain pen friendly, but I wanted something that was less absorbent. Two, I'm not a huge spiral person. Bound book is like my number one choice. Rings are deliberately um, on a ring system that I feel like is key to making it functional to me. My least favorite planner format is the discs format. I hate discs with a passion. If you use discs, more power to you. I admire your tenacity. Um, and I understand that they the pages come out of the discs, but like something about how obtrusive the discs are, like my soul screams. So this is not like a disc hating session. I just, they're not for me. And I definitely am not pooping on anybody who uses discs. You use what's right for you. Um, but so like above rings or above discs is spirals. And I'd say like YRO is behind a spiral, like YRO binding and then spiral, right? Um, so this is not like my favorite and I'm pretty hard on all of my planners. All of this to say, this is like the same format to me. And I've thought already about how I can put like my mood on this side or figure out a way to put it on this side because there are those hash marks that allow you to divide the day up. Um, so I can put like an emoji or emoji or whatever on either side and then summarize my day. And then over here, I can do my weekly targets. I can do my weekly habit tracker and I can do my weekly reflection down at the bottom. And why I think this will work better for me is because I actually waste a lot of space in this one. Um, so for the sprouted planner, I don't even use this column over here. I usually just put a vinyl sticker or some washi tape over here because I just use these, this side. So that's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 20 bullets here that I could use for tasks, but since I'm using it as a mental health planner, I really only have like anywhere from six to 10 like weekly targets that I want to try to accomplish. Half the time I don't even accomplish them. So like I don't need all of this space, right? Whereas this format will be more condensed for me. Um, and if I do have a day where I feel like I need to take this with me because I'm really having a bad day or a bad week or um, my depression's flaring really hard or something's going on, this is way more portable and less obtrusive than the Sprouted Planner. And I really like this. I just wish that it was <laughs> smaller um, and not in a YRO. And um, yeah, because I really do like this planner. I just struggle with the size of it, I guess, along with, well, also, I mean, this planner, fresh out of the box, I was watching her sale and her planners, I think are $70. And this was 20 when I bought it in June. So yeah, I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't justify it. So anyways, and then this one will go in um, this part of the Hobonichi weeks. So it's obviously going to be a contrast, but I really don't mind. I've kind of accepted that really early on that the weeks have the yellow paper on it and I'm never going to have a complete weeks with no white stickers popping out. So that doesn't really bother me. Um, and I went with the, I think this color combination for Mandy Lynn plans is called Canyon. And I went with this as like a um, contrast to the deep blue because I wanted the gray one, but I waited too long to make the purchase. So I had to go with 
the navy, which is, that's okay. Na like blue is actually my favorite color. So I'm fine with that. Um, but this is a week's mega. So I do have bukus of pages in the back and my challenge is going to be to fill them all. And, you know, I feel like that's very apropos the new week's mega user. Like you always think you're going to use all the pages and then you never do, but I'm going to do it. I will be the one. <laughs> um, so we'll see. But yeah, so this is the Hobonichi lineup and then I will have my rings as my everyday carry. But this is going to be my mental health planner where I do a lot of reflecting about where my mental health is at, where I'm at in therapy, stuff like that. And then this will be my memory planner and my journal. So yeah, and this is why I have discussed trying to calm down a little bit in the um, sticker and uh, maximalist sticker style that I have utilized in my cousin because if this chunks up, I don't know how it's gonna go. Like I know the binding will probably be fine, but <sighs> something about a, a harder cover makes me nervous, which shouldn't but does <laughs> it should have the opposite effect right but i'm worried that like if i chunk it up too much what's gonna happen here you know so it may be a very minimalist year um i'm not like holding fast to that ideal because if i fail i don't want to feel like i failed <laughs> um so i'm not making it like a goal but <sighs> the idea would be to calm down Make it more serene, you know, like calm down. But also, I, I, I do think that is like me imposing rules on myself that I don't necessarily have to follow. If I want to play in my planner, I can play in my planner. I give myself permission to do that. So these are just thoughts. Um, but yeah, so that is like the huge haul that I have. And <laughs> I love the ribbons. I'm a ribbon girly. Um, the only thing I've ever ripped a ribbon out of was this thing because the ribbon, where it was, was tucked in there. Like, that's where the ribbon was. And it, it just, how am I going to get a ribbon from all the way back here to go up here? It was just not, it wasn't giving. So, I do really enjoy the Sprouted Planner. It's been really good to me. Um, I'm going to keep this and look back at it. I really like the system that she has. She is a small company like a lot of other um, companies and she actually started this planner company after she, I think she lost her father to a, a neurological disease of some sort. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I think it was ALS, but I could be wrong and I'm, I'm not 100% on what she ended up losing her father to, but it helped like... She created a system of like values, ideas, and um, remind stuff like just to help you really reflect on where you want to be in life in relation to your relationships with others and stuff like that. So I really like it and I would show you the front matter pages, but I filled them out. So I'm not going to do that. Um, when I purchased this planner, I talked about how I was influenced by Cindy Gwen Turk Baldo, um, her channel does a full review and flip of this planner. So if it's something that interests you, I recommend you go check out Cindy's uh, YouTube if you want to see like a full flippy flip. Um, but yeah, and I may not be done with this because she does sell the weekly pages as like a printable. And I'm like, I could put that in my rings, you know? So we may not be done. And I mean, we're technically still not done, folks. It is only October and we have a whole 10 weeks left. That's not a lot, but it's enough to do some damage. So stay strong. We can make it through 2023. I am super excited about digging in to these puppies in 2024. I hope you have found a planner setup that you are excited about and that you're not doubting or um you know you've gotten to a point where you're ready to dive in if not i hope you reach that point soon 
Um, and if you've made it this far in this chaotic but exciting haul video, I thank you so much. Um, I know my Hobonichi haul is not technically on the timeline it should be, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is drop all my 2024 stuff in this box because some of these stickers I don't want to touch until 2024. And that's what I'm going to do. I think that was just, oh, no, these two. Because I'm going to put these in the front. And I want to keep those. And some more transparent stickers. I want to save for the weeks. Are these transparent? No, I think they're white. Okay. So, yeah. So, I am super excited. Um, I don't, I'm just, ugh. Now that I've shown you what I'm doing and I've like shared it, now I'm really excited. I was not before because I was just like, I'll get to it when I get to it. I don't want to think about it. Well, I've thought about it. Now I'm like, ooh, I can't wait. So this go, this is going back on top of my printer and we're putting stuff on top of it so that we don't get tempted. I am banishing this back to <laughs> the 2024 pile of do not touch yet. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up to help me grow and I will see you in the next video. Bye!